I'm here today because I'm uh, happy to announce that after about a year's worth of work um, between the Wichita Police Department, between the Wichita, the City of Wichita, the Old Town Association, and business owners and merchants in Old Town, that we are launching our first phase of uh, safety initi initiatives to help make Old Town uh, a safer place. Uh, it's one of the city's premier destinations for entertainment and the fastest growing residential community in the city. And so with that growth has come some growing pains and we've adapted to that. And we've worked hard over the last year to figure out how, like many other cities like Wichita that have downtown core revitalization efforts, what we need to do to continue to make it a safe place and to attract businesses and attract individuals to live in the area. So the first things that we are announcing today is that uh, we're doing some very basic but important things. We are going to increase lighting in Old Town. Uh, the city of Wichita has agreed to or has already purchased uh, 16 lighting units. Uh, there's surface mount lights that go on the sides of buildings and the Old Town Association has agreed to pay for the installation. So it's a real public-private partnership between the neighborhood and the city and we will be installing that additional lighting uh, here early in June and that will really eliminate any voids in the Old Town area where there might be dark, dark spots, dark alleys, dark doorways and really light up the area and, and set the stage for some future uh, improvements that we'll be making to safety, uh, one of which is some camera systems and some other things that will be announced in the weeks ahead. But the other thing that we're doing immediately is we are, uh, we have coordinated with all of the bars in Old Town who have agreed to adapt a system called Bar Shield. And Bar Shield is a security system that allows uh, door personnel or bouncers to swipe the IDs of individuals as they enter into the establishment. Uh, that accomplishes several things. Number one, it ensures that we don't have any minors in establishments that don't allow anyone under 21 uh, by validating the driver's license as a legal government document. It also then logs the individual's name and their photograph. And so that's important because we have a couple establishments that have been uh, using this system for a little over a year, and they've been able to utilize the system along with their security camera system to catch a number of people who caused incidents, whether it was a fight in the club or somebody stealing something. Uh, this system allows them to go back, identify somebody that's part of a disturbance, pull that individual's face up, and then go back and find where they walked into the club, pull up the timestamp, and go in their database and identify the individual's name, and then give that to police. It's been a powerful tool to help crack down on individuals who come to bars and come for the wrong reasons to end up getting in trouble. So again, the Bar Shield system will allow all the bars to coordinate so when the ID is swiped, if somebody does start a dis has a disturbance or cause a problem, then an entry is made under that person's name in the database that they're either banned from a bar or that they were part of a disturbance. And the next time they try to enter an establishment in Old Town, when their ID is swiped, those notes come up. So uh, security personnel at one club may swipe an ID of somebody trying again and find out they were banned from another club because of a fight. And at that point, the establishment can choose to decline service. It's their right. And so it really sends a message that if you're going to come down to Old Town to cause problems or for the wrong reason, or if you do cause problems, uh, it's not likely you're going to get back into the establishment where you cause that problem and may not get back into any other bars in Old Town because we're very serious about creating a safe and inviting environment uh, where we really get rid of those individuals, those very few individuals who are causing the majority of our problems. So those are the two things that we're excited to announce today. Those initiatives will be going into effect the first week of June, and we will have more to come in the weeks ahead. Any questions? Jason, are you worried at all about those who say it's a, an infringement uh, on one's um, um, rights that uh, uh, they get all this information about them is divulged from the, they go to the bar? Privacy rights is where I'm going. Yeah, the, the, the company we work with has been in existence for quite some time, and they're very careful to make sure that they only capture information that is not uh, private. And so, for instance, it captures the individual's uh, picture and it captures their name. It does not capture their social security number or any other privacy type information. And so it's a very well-developed design system that simply allows uh, bars to be able to tag individuals, make notes if those individuals are a problem. And when it comes to whether a bar decides to 
uh, refuse for service to somebody because of events in the past, that's totally their right. As a business, they have the right to refuse business to anybody. And quite frankly, I wouldn't want somebody in my establishment if they'd come in and caused a fight or broken something or stolen something in the past. And so it really empowers the uh, bar, restaurant and bars to protect themselves while still protecting the privacy rights of the individual. Have you gotten 100% compliance from all the bars? Or? We got 100% buy-in from all the bars in Old Town. So we are at various, each one is at a various stage of e either having the system in place, working to get the system in place, or working with the company to sign their contracts. But myself and the police department sat down with all of the restaurant and bar owners, and 100% of them agreed to begin implementing the system. Our hope is to have that system in every uh, bar in Old Town by the end of June. How many bars is that? It's close to a dozen bars. I don't have an exact count for you, but and it's, it's the let me kind of make a distinction. It's those types of establishments that have um, 21 and over only at some point in the evening and have a door person. So, for instance, this wouldn't be a Larkspur type of a system because they don't ever shut down and become just a pure bar. Um, it would be the places like um, Heroes and Pump House and uh, the bars that after a certain point you can't enter unless you're 21. Yep. You hope to have this in place by the end of June. That's correct. And actually, most bars, like I said, have already begun ordering the equipment. There's a two-step phase to signing up for it. Number one, you actually have to actually purchase specialized equipment. Uh, and then number two, it's a long-term contract signed to be able to manage that database. And so we're also working with the police department to make sure that they've got a system themselves so Are that the they can tie in. the cost of that system? Absolutely. In fact, the, nice, the great thing about the announcement today is that every group that has been working on these safety issues is making a financial investment. The police department has put more resources in to more officers there on the weekends. We've got officers walking the beat, we've got officers on bicycles, we've got officers on mounted patrol. The city of Wichita has stepped up with their first initial investment, which is purchasing the physical lights. The Old Town Association is paying to have them installed, and the bar owners and managers are paying to implement this uh, bar shield system. So you really see all all of the uh, organizations that are involved, all of the stakeholders making a financial investment in the safety of Old Town. The city is purchasing the lights? The city has already purchased the lights, yes. Uh, do you know what the approximate cost for the lights is? Yeah, I believe the investment on the side of the city was around $5,000 for the light, the 16 light packs. And again, this is just one initial investment that they've made and they pledged to make going forward. And those are going to be installed on the sides of the building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will work with individual property owners just to get their approval to install the lights. But again, we're making it as easy as possible. So the Old Town Association and paying for the installation, all that leaves is the uh, business owner to pay the electricity and any replacement of the bulb. And these are LED systems. So they're very low energy use. They're environmentally friendly. And they don't need to have the bulbs replaced for 20 or 25 years. So it's really a low expense on the individual property owner. Will the facial recognition be effective, say hypothetically somebody on a band list wants to try and use a fake ID to get in somewhere? Well, the depending on what you mean by fake ID, first of all, the system should catch a fake ID. So if it's a true fake ID and not a legitimately issued ID by the state of Kansas, it's going to come up as unreadable and they'll be turned away. If it's somebody else's ID they borrowed from a friend, then, you know, you get into situations where the the person who's at the door has to figure out if that's really the individual. But that's the nice thing. It will catch truly fake IDs, identify those, then the, the door person can contact police and report that somebody's tried to use a fake ID uh, and it will eliminate that as a problem which any bar has. And so, but we won't have that as an issue in Old Town anymore. You, is that the system that you call Bar Shield? Bar Shield is actually the brand name, brand name. of the system, yes. You know, the, is, that's two words, Bar Shield? I believe it is, yes. Have any other cities used Bar Shield that you know of and have they seen a decrease in um, disturbances in bars? Yes, and I can actually follow up with you and get you more information about the company because they have, uh, they, it was started in another city, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but Madison, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin possibly, and it's it was 
pretty much ubiquitously applied to all their bars and their kind of core district with a lot of success. And we had our first, Pump House was the first bar in Wichita to actually purchase the system, and they were the one that found it, and they've been using it for over a year with tremendous success. They feel it's one of the most, one of the best investments they ever made. They brought it to us, we introduced it to the rest of the bar owners and managers. Another establishment uh, added it, and we just felt like if we applied this to all the bars in Old Town, we would have a system that really helped us uh, with security within the establishments. Jason, the, the lights will go up uh, when? Our plan is to start installing them the first week in June. Any idea what the bars are putting out financially for the bar shield system? Yeah, I believe it's several hundred dollar initial investment in hardware and then roughly $30 a month subscription fee. And that's the, and so they're not only making an upfront investment, they're committing to a long term continued investment, uh, which I really applaud these bars because every little bit helps when you own a business, but to commit to long term ongoing expense because you see it as a benefit to the neighborhood and the neighborhood security is a great thing that these uh, restaurants and bars have agreed to do.